now that we have crossed into Wyoming, I would say definitely the the last you know part of Nebraska, uh, the the um, you know scenery changed quite a bit. There was a lot hillier. You saw the the bluffs and the and the monuments and things like that. So um, I'm assuming we're going to see a lot more of that as we get into Wyoming, and definitely uh, excited. I've been to Wyoming a couple times. It's always a beautiful state to explore. So definitely excited to get it started. You can see the red dots here. That's the Oregon Trail as we come in from Nebraska into Wyoming. There's no roads that we can drive on right here. So we're gonna have to go on Highway 26 is as close as we can get. And then as the Oregon Trail is a little bit south of 26, we'll hop on 156 and follow it on up as far as we can close to that trail. And then we'll go on through Fort Laramie and stay the night somewhere in the vicinity of Guernsey. Pulling into, uh, pulling near Guernsey, Wyoming, which is, if you're familiar with the Oregon Trail, it's one of the more famous places, but I'm actually gonna save that for tomorrow. Um, not a lot of places to stay in this part of Wyoming, so I got an Airbnb, and uh, let's, uh, let's go check it out. Definitely unique, no phone service, cell phone service.
It's a beautiful morning here in uh, eastern Wyoming. Really cool place to stay and had a great night's sleep. Uh, I am looking forward to a shower later tonight when I get there uh, to wherever I'm going, which is going to be Casper, Wyoming today. <clears throat> a little shorter drive. There's really not um, a lot beyond Casper in terms of places to stay at, so uh, that's why I'm staying there. Guernsey has a lot of interesting, a lot of interesting things and, and very historical. Obviously, the ruts are are fascinating. The uh, Registered Cliff is a very interesting place to see all the the names. Obviously, there's some new names on there that weren't on the Oregon Trail, but there are some uh, from that time. And to think they camped out there, and then right here next to, basically right near and between the two sites, is a Pony Express station and. And the more I follow along this trail and, and see the different stations of the Pony Express, uh, the more fascinating <laughs> that topic is as well. Um, to, to think about how they delivered mail from coast to coast in, in a, you know, a week or so. Pretty, pretty crazy. So yeah, definitely lots to see in Guernsey. And uh, so yeah, let's, let's get back on the road. The Highway 26 goes this way, but as you can see the Oregon Trail red dots go this way and there is a road so we're going to try to go up to Windover although we then we can't go any further that way so then we're going to have to go down and then back up north. see at around Glendo the Oregon Trail goes in a direction that there really aren't any roads. You could take this road a little bit and go this way but uh, there's really there's no towns or anything like that so I'm gonna go kind of a main road, a two-lane road at least, on through some towns and then we'll get up to Douglas uh, before we get a little bit closer but unfortunately we can't you know we could probably hike it maybe but we can't drive anywhere through here
You can see the Oregon Trail right here. It does finally kind of reconnect with the road that we're, we're on pretty close. And then it basically does parallel these roads right here. This says 20, 26, 87. Uh, so these are some two lane roads that we'll take all the way through. We'll see some little towns and little unincorporated places all the way over until we get to Casper. Just rolled into Casper, Wyoming, and there's a few things I want to see here, but they're closing. It's after five o'clock, so I'm gonna have to uh, check those out in the morning. Staying in a hotel that is unique, at least it looks unique. So the room is good for me. I'm low maintenance and uh, was able to get cleaned up and uh, get a shower for the first time in two days. So that felt good. Was looking around trying to figure out uh, where to find something to eat and noticed that they're having the Casper Central Wyoming Fair and there's a rodeo tonight. So I guess when you're in Wyoming, you know, it's appropriate to go uh, check out the rodeo. So let's go, let's go see what's going on at the rodeo. Wait, 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 Doug. What? They're raising their hands. That's a, we gotta get the rule. That's not okay. You don't raise your hand, you scream. Who's at your first? 